Uh, this is the ECU out of a 2004 Ford Focus, a uh, first generation. Uh, this is the same uh, vehicle that was produced from 1999 till 2004. Uh, and uh, this ECU, uh, let's start with a number, it is a 1M5F-12A650-BF. Uh, there are several uh, versions of this which should be probably the same thing. Uh, this uh, has uh, had uh, erratic sensor readings. Uh, it started with the uh, in intake air temperature sensor reading uh, very weird values, usually too high. Uh, and uh, just kind of responding erratically to uh, the sensor and uh, then it's uh, after that it got an issue where the cool and temperature sensor would read a maximum value it would read very high and then finally it would read 159c all the time causing the uh, causing it to throw a an overheat code uh, and I have figured out the cause of these issues uh, well the symptom in this device anyway and fixed it and uh, it's down to a few components on this side of a board namely uh, these two resistors uh, I think that guy is for the input air temperature and that guy is for the coolant temperature as well as the decoupling capacitors over here uh, that one uh, the right one is for uh, the uh, input air temperature the left one is for the coolant temperature uh, so at first it had an issue where the input air temperature sensor had a shorted cap and a bad resistor. I replaced those and then uh, I think by chance uh, the uh, resistor and uh, capacitor for the cool temperature failed uh, right after uh, the capacitor went uh, uh, short circuit, about 450 ohms uh, and the resistor was uh, kind of wrong-ish. It's a 39k resistor here. It measures about 13k in circuit, I think. But no, that's when it was filled out. I don't know what it measures. But the resistance uh, is supposed to be about 60k across the uh, coolant temperature sensor capacitor. I don't remember what it's supposed to be across the other one. But uh, yeah, uh, if, if any of these caps are shorted, uh, it's going to cause uh, erratic sensor readings because I think all six of these caps go to various analog sensors in the engine bay. Uh, and you can quite easily trace out uh, the circuits going to the respective ports here even if you don't have a you know, schematic for this connector. If you have one it's easy to work uh, from this end. Uh, but, but yeah, that's uh, we should just wanted to uh, point it out. Uh, if you're having erratic sensor readings on one of these ECUs, a good place to start is uh, around these capacitors.